We have some news today out of Russia. Brittany Griner's appeal was rejected by a Russian court. The ruling upheld her nine-year prison sentence, and the court also ruled that Griner's prison time will be recalculated so that it reflects what she has already served. So one day in pretrial detention will be counted as one and a half days in prison, and that means she will have to serve about eight years in jail. And after the ruling, United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken tweeted, today's denial of appeal for Brittany Griner is another Another failure of justice, compounding the injustice of her detention. Russia is wrongfully detaining Brittany, and nothing about her conviction or the denial of this appeal changes that. Securing her release is our priority. And for more on today's ruling and what's next for Brittany Griner, we welcome in ESPN investigative reporter TJ Quinn. TJ, thank you so much for your reporting throughout Brittany's entire case here. And you've long said that today's ruling, it was expected, but what does the rejection of her appeal actually mean for her potential return to the United States. It doesn't change a ton as, as far as the timeline. And her bigger concern right now is where she's going to be kept while she's in Russia. When she was sentenced on August 4th, they sentenced her to serve her term in a penal colony. Uh, a Moscow jail might not be any fun, but a penal colony is far worse and potentially dangerous for her. So while her appeal has played out, she's been able to stay in a Moscow jail, again, relatively safer compared to what she could face. Now the clock is starting to run on a transfer to that colony. Uh, her lawyers say it could take weeks, it could take months. There's a, there's a whole process to go through. The hope is that a negotiation, which is still how the U.S. expects her to come home, can be completed before she's actually sent to that colony. So, so given all of that, what does this mean for a timeline for her return to the U.S.? The hope has been that Russia has been waiting for the midterm elections on November 8th. As Secretary Blinken had said earlier, the, the U.S. made an offer in June, but they haven't gotten what they consider to be a good faith response. There's not an actual counter offer, officials have said to me and then have also said very recently. So what they're hoping is that Putin has been waiting until the election, not wanting to give President Biden any kind of victory for Democrats. Once that date has passed and the election is over, the U.S. hopes that Russia is going to engage in good faith on a trade. Mm. But the fact is, there's very little the U.S. can do. Brittany Griner, like the U.S. government, is essentially at the whim of Putin's justice system. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.